Yeah, it's gone stage two. So there's two battles this time. Hmm. Let's switch things up. Let's use the Vol Brave. Invaders, okay. The mess hall. So, had they decide what we're gonna do next? Lieutenant Armor said we'd search for that glowing machine first. Find a guy that disappeared right in front of us? Yeah, sure. Let me get right on that. Yes, well. At present, that machine is the only lead we have towards finding out more about this world. Since it's a humanoid mobile weapon, it has to have some place it goes to receive maintenance and resupply. That would also mean there would be personnel working on it. That's why I don't think this is a world that is a total no man's land. I hope you're right. But man, even though this is a parallel world, I have a hard time wrapping my head around us being in Japan. I know what you mean. When a demon's massacred mankind... Yeah, when a demon's massacred mankind... Our world will probably look something like this. Hey, stop being so ominous. I'm just saying. We have no idea what the demons in the Jamatai Empire are getting up to while we're stuck here. Now that you mention it, our world is in danger too. What will Nerve do if another angel appears? Father, everyone. Even if, it, even if we figure out what's up with this bleak world, it won't bring us any closer to getting home. What we need... Is to get you to open the gate, Dito. If I could do that voluntarily, I would. <laughs> That's what you say, anyways. Stop it, Ipe. You know we left here through a different gate than the one Dito opened. Hypothesis. He opens gate, return it to the original world? Not guaranteed. You can't say that Dito isn't at least one of the things causing this whole mess. Sorry about that. You don't need to apologize for anything, Dito. Ipe, I understand that you're impatient, but Dito doesn't even understand his own circumstances. Don't talk like everything is his fault. Yeah, I know that. Then he left. Phew, I'm glad that didn't turn something worse. That little spat may be over, but our situation is still what it is. Yeah, there's probably more than a few people here that aren't happy with Dito over all of this. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of people that weren't happy, in the private quarters of the Archangel. Hey, isn't it all that Dito guy's fault that we got sent here? Huh? I overheard some of them talking about it. They mentioned space-time leads and that that Dito person was connected to it. Still too early to know for sure. And besides, he was in a different world than ours. That is true. Then why did we have to get sent here? People from all sorts of different worlds are come, all coming together in the same spot. I just don't see how that's reason, how that's even possible. Well, that Dito guy must have done something to make it all happen. The captain, the captain should just hurry up and interrogate him or something. Whatever it takes to get him to talk. Flay. I just want to go back to our original world already, so that Kira can take out every last coordinator. Hmm. Isn't he a coordinator himself? Would he commit suicide at the end? Hmm. We're in the bridge. Hey Orga, are we really gonna are we really gonna keep working under these guys? We went through so much to, to become Tekadin, and now we're right back to being CGS. Hmm. Even so, it's clear that we can't solve this situation on our own. We have no choice but to cooperate with them right now. And then there's a different dialogue branch, apparently, if you, um, played in and did not. But if we snatched that Dito guy, couldn't we use him to get back to our original world? He's got some kind of connection to space-time leaves, right? No way. That's crazy. This gets right. Besides, we don't know if he can actually send us there or not. We made the wrong move and screw up, and that's it. We're done for. Well, yeah, I guess so. And besides, we're not working under these guys. We're operating as equals. 
for now at least. Well, if our leader says so, then I guess we'll work with them. Just, we're relying on you here, Orga. I know. Leader, I've confirmed multiple heat sources incoming. What are they? We served, we received a message from the Rock Island. These readings are invaders, apparently. Huh, so invaders in a different world. Nice. Those are... Kia! No doubt about it. Those really are invaders. I've heard a bit about them. But they're more like monsters than I imagined. They look like they put a, a good fight as a demon would. If they're in this world... Then that means there's a gate connected to ours somehow. I want to count out the possibility that those monsters exist in the parallel worlds. But either way, we'll think about that after we take them down. Intercept the, the invaders. All hands. Level 1 battle stations. So apparently if I had launched the Ryoma here, he has his own dialogue. He would have said... Ha, did you come here looking for getter rays? I don't know where the hell you came from, but I'm gonna slaughter every last one of you. At least we're doing better against them. More enemy reader, more enemy readings. They're invaders again. Does that mean there are colonies of them scattered around here? They're really they're really irritating. What's this reading? Transfer complete. Oh yeah. That's Continuing on. It's that green machine from before. The monster looking thing is the enemy for the stage. Sorry, that monster looking thing is the enemy for the stage? Ugh, way too creepy. As I said before, the main objective for today is Constance. You don't need to get involved in excessive fighting. You mean like with those guys over there? Yes, there's a way of making contact with them while I'm prepared. We don't know what they'll do. Be ready for anything, huh? Roger. It's like he can teleport. It's like he can teleport. Coming out of nowhere like that. So that doesn't seem like they're hostile this time either. That works out better for us. All units, continue to intercept the invaders. Dang, this thing's fast. destroy them real quick.
It looks like all the invaders have been taken care of. Yes, that just leaves. Mission accomplished. Let's return to the Yosianus. Right. The unidentified machines and the unknown, constru and the unknown creatures. It has to be. It vanished again. They show up. They show up on the battlefield out of nowhere and then disappear as soon as it's over. Who the heck are they? At least they don't seem like enemies. You think so? I mean, I hope so, but I don't know if that guy's friend or foe. But at least I know the invaders definitely came from our world. I felt it during the battle. Their their insatiable appetite for getter rays. Yeah, I agree with you there. They would have seen. Then it would seem there truly is a gate to our world in this one. Dude, yeah, but we don't know left from right where it com when it comes to this world. We can't even begin to guess where it'd be. Where on this earth could the gate to our world be? Yeah, I'm not worried about regaining, getting any extra stuff since there's no real. I got most of that stuff. With Oceanus's bridge. Good work, Yell. And kill Suguru? He's back home already. I see. Yell, you. you're going to become a transfer student at, at Maihama Minami High School. I've already taken the necessary steps to make it so. Hmm. I made this I made this decision based on the possibility of hastening his awakening. Yes, I understand. What do we know about the enemy we fought earlier? From the data we gathered, we determined that they're not able they're not the same kind of life form as Guard Zorm. Presumably, they are beings from a parallel world, both those life forms and them. I suppose that's the only thing they could be. There's no explanation otherwise. Visitors from a parallel world. Are we going to make contact with them? We very well might. We can't afford to be picky about our methods now. Right. Excuse me, sir. What is it? We're sorry to interrupt, but we have a request. Then let's hear it. So we're going on to more Zeka Pain stuff. Let's go on to the next stage immediately since we got time. Let's switch up some things. Good enough. Alright, so now that we're back into this. Uh oh. That's a saucer machine right there, looks like. We're Kaminagi's room. Heck yeah, stage cleared. Jeez, Kyo, all you've been doing lately is coming over and playing games. My house isn't an arcade, you know. Ah, just loosen up. <sighs> and after all that trouble I did to make a PR video for the swim club, have you forgotten you owe me? I haven't forgotten. Sure about that? You did forget that she's, you know, transferred to our school after all. I didn't forget that. You all just... Nah, never mind. Hmm? I've been feeling weird lately. Like there's something off uh, about everything around me. You and everyone else keep saying that Shizuno transferred to school a week ago. But that's not how I remember it at all. Even though the whole school has nothing but talk about it. And this Paint of Ziggy game too. I thought it had some connection to that secret VR software. But everyone already knew about it. Oh. You cleared another stage. You're really good this game, Kyo. I can't believe you just started playing. Really? You know, it does kind of feel like I already know how to play it. Couldn't think of it. I never wondered why I was fighting. Why didn't I ever stop to question it? It's like I just suddenly got used to it. Hmm? What's that? Kaminari, do you know what that red thing on the locker is? Don't ask me. Oh, I think Koji said something about there being messages that only show up with your specific ID. 
Maybe someone left it behind on the map in online mode? Probably. For me? From who? How would I know? Hmm? Where are you going? Don't ask a girl where she's going every time she gets up, jerk. It's not wrong. Ah, bathroom, bathroom then. I'll just, uh, check the message. Huh? Be careful. Don't get involved with Shizuno Misaki. What the heck is that about? We're at the Rock Island. Tch. I didn't think it'd be easy to find a gate leading to a parallel world, but still. Since there are invaders around, we at least know there should be a gate in this world that leads to our own. Why would invaders go through a gate in the first place? Those things basically just act on instinct, so I can't imagine they had the intelligence to want to investigate it. That could be that they were dragged into a gate, same as us. That's a good point. But think about it, if gates were opening up on Earth, there'd be some kind of investigation going on with them. From either the Federation, Neo Zeon, or Bozon, yeah. Especially Bozon with their unmanned weapons. They'd likely send some in for reconnaissance. If they really do send some in, then if we capture it, would it be able to figure out where the gate was located? But do you really see it going that well? Captain, Bozon units confirmed on radar. Identified as Bozonian mobile weapons. What? Haha. <laughs> well, Chief. Looks like our string of bad luck is about to change. Yeah, guess so. Seems a little too good to be true, though. All units, prepare to launch on the double. We're engaged in the Boson Squadron. Ugh. <sighs> Entanglement is the name of number 13. The bows and saucers are here. Launch all mobile suits. It's that machine again. I'm guessing they're not going to say a word to us and do as they please this time too. Hmm? We're receiving a transmission from the green machine on an open channel. Seriously? This is Bright Noah. Captain of the flagship Rock Highland. What is your name and affiliation? We'll cooperate with you in this battle. We can talk. We can talk after we've driven off the enemy. Well, they've got a pretty rude way of addressing us. What do you do, Captain Bright? If we can get information, it's in our best interest to do so. Understood. We'd like to cooperate. Your sound judgment is appreciated. To all units, I'd like you to capture one of the Bozonian machines. There's a possibility we may be able to get information on the gate from it. Whenever possible, attempt to incapacitate the enemy machines without destroying them. It says that like it's easy. Still, we have to do it. Kyo, you're gonna fight together with them this time. Will you do that? Y yeah, got it. Kyo? Just what was that message about? And his place. Something about it, bo about it bothers me. We just need to disable it. After that, one of our guys can collect it. It's self-destructed? It appears it sets a detonation should something like this occur. That would make recovery impossible. There's nothing for it then. Prote proceed with the annihilation of all enemies. And they're all attacking Kidios.
So real quick, apparently if Voltus 5 battled an enemy, they'd say, I can't believe Boson sent their enemy here their army here. What's going on in our world right now? Don't think about anything else right now, Yoshi. Concentrate on fighting these guys. Is it over? I think so. Good work. Hmm. Kyo? I get it now. This place is... Huh? Where's that machine going? Yeah, this is the same spot I saw in the game, alright. You're not planning to get out, are you? Uh, uh, sorry. You're not planning to get out, are you? Hold on a minute. Hup. Is that the Green Machine's pilot? Ouch, so we're getting more story now. So now they're at the what's it called? At the abandoned building. It really is the same as in the game. Right down to the locker being there. I checked out this locker in the game, man. Stop. Shizuno. Come back to the Altair. Hmm. What the? <gasps> That's... Don't believe the world you see? How did that show up on the wall? Let's go back, Kyo. Right. But I need to check something out first. No, don't. This locker. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to check it out. <gasps> I can't touch it? Ha. <laughs> no way. Hey, Shizuno. My hand goes right through it. I can't touch the locker. Why can't I? Yeah. That is sad. W what the hell was that about? My hand was just transparent because this is all VR, right? Yes, that's right. You can only touch things inside of the cockpit. I... I see. Yeah, of course. Man, that really scared the crap out of me. Mm. That pilot's spotty. Are you sure, Yuna? Yes. Frankly, I could barely believe what I saw. A body that passes through objects. Sounds like a ghost. This world may not be like what we're used to, but still... We should be able to find out for sure what they are when we speak to them directly. I hope so. In any case, we'll begin intercepting the enemy. Oh. Uh, sorry. And then ask again, this isn't real, right? That's right, so don't worry and just fight however you want. Yeah, sorry for the weird question. Alright, let's do this and then the battle starts. At least we're still coming through everything, just to quickly go through this. All 
Our search radius isn't showing any signs of the enemy. We pull through once again. Now that just leaves. There are a lot of things we'd like to ask you about. Uh, ask you about. Pilot of the Green Machine. Will you come aboard our ship? Please direct your questions to me. Hmm? It's a ship. So they do have transporting technology. Just like we thought. We are Celebram. I am Shima, commander of this ship. Celebram? I'm guessing that's the name of their force. I would like to speak to a representative of yours promptly. Understood. I understood. I, understood yeah, I assume you heard all that, Altair. Return to the ship. Understood. Kyo, let's go back. Right. So now, more about this. So we're at the briefing with the Rock Highlam. You want to work together? Correct. If you accept our proposal, we will present to We promise to give you information of this world and supplies in return. However, as far as mater material supplies go, we are unable to provide you with food for certain reasons. Why don't you food? What you're offering us at the moment is certainly appealing, but what would our cooperation entail for us? Would you be willing to aid us in fighting our enemy, the Guards Orm? Guards Orm. Those are the guys you've been fighting up till now? That's correct. The Guards Orm are life forms that suddenly appeared in this world one day. Their objective is to experiment with modifying the environment, to, to turn the entire planet into a giant testing site. So those are the kinds of things in this world. We, the Cerebrum, we, the Cerebrum, stand in opposition of the Guard Zorm as a resistance force. I see. One reason is that you did not indiscriminate. Uh, sorry. However, what makes you believe we're fit to help you combat the Guard Zorm? One reason is you, that you did not indiscriminately attack our machines. One reason. And most importantly, because you are not of this world. <sighs> and why would you think that? Let me tell you a story about the truth of this world. It's over though. So now we're going to get more into the story of what happens with Zegapain, with Zegapain's storyline, basically. So I can't wait. Since Zegapain was an interesting series, it's just I want to see how they interpret it in this game. Regardless, um, so far we're going through it actually pretty fast. We're four, stage four already. Wow. Thank you for all for watching, though. Until the next part, goodbye.